Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I got another low budget obscured film to review for you. Yeah. And yes, it's on my to do list. Oh boy. It just seems my uh, list of movies to review is never gonna end it. This damn booklet. Damn it. So, anyway, again, I'm gonna be reviewing another film from my packet right here, folks. From the Nifty 50s packet, and it contains 50 movies from the 1950s. Some people might be thinking, oh no, I'm reviewing another old movie. I should do it. You shouldn't be doing that. Then I'll be like, what are, what are you? A stupid communist? I can review whatever the fuck I want. Yes, sir. So, I just figured, what the hell? What's another one, I guess? So, anyway, like always, I do have a I do have to top of the plot, and this film does attempt to be more of a slogical thriller in some ways, which is fine. I just got to talk about the story. Yes, sorry. The primary focus of this film is this individual named Jeff, and let's just say he's this successful individual who, wa who pretty much wants to do this business kind of a thing, and he is, let's just say, uh, it's terrified in some ways. He's sad, I guess you can say, because of the fact his fiance was killed in a mysterious car accident on the night before their wedding. So I guess you could say he's traumatized because of this. And he's basically blaming himself for her death. And he spends a lot of time alone thinking about you know showing things what I and oh yeah. He definitely sounds troubled, alright? The whole main character here, folks, definitely lives at this top of the art home, and he basically spends a lot of time alone, of course. And he had designed a lot of stuff, of course. His He had designed this place, this home, for his wife to be at the time. So, anyway, let's just say. The poor guy is not um he's not a very happy person at all. So basically that's the premise of the of the movie overall. So I can say that I actually like this one. So yeah, so far folks, I've been coming up with good movies from this set, so they all they all have been little gems in their own little way, so I can't complain yet. So thankfully, on uh, the on a good way, all of these has been, you know, pretty good. So, I can't really complain too much, I guess. So, that's definitely a plus there. There's no real bad movies that I came across yet. And, it's, and like I said, it's on my to-do list anyway, so whatever, I suppose. So, anyway, this film had a pretty good story. And I did like how they were doing the story, the premise of it. The way it was executed seems fluently. Would I watch this again? Hell yeah, I would watch this again. It's better than a lot of stuff that's coming out nowadays. Yes, sir. Eh? Yeah, I know not a whole lot of people are speaking about movies like this, but I think that's kind of the fun in some ways because you don't know much about these movies, so it's kind of like digging to some treasure. And this was definitely a gem to be watched, folks. Of course, just like the other movies from the set I reviewed, they have been released in the own uh, individual disc. They have their own disc, of course. But so you don't necessarily have to, you know, buy this set. I mean, unless you want to. So I would say either way, right? I recommend it. Even though the picture quality isn't all that good, really, it does come up like a. It was. It came from my v VHS copy, but it didn't it didn't bother me that much anyway. So whatever, I guess. It's not super, super clear, really, but it's fine. Um, that's fine by me. I didn't bother me that much at all. So, anyway. Yeah, that's the thing, folks. I like digging into the past where I can find some good movies, bad movies, or whatever, or even mediocre films. I, I would generally review it. Even though I can say that there was a lot more effort into movies way back then compared to nowadays. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know this is a business, and in any business, you have to make money. I I understand that. That's, 
That's that's not what I'm complaining about. But you can tell those uh, drastic change in movies that were made back then compared to nowadays. So that's definitely a noticeable difference. So not particularly in a good way, I guess. I mean, there are some mainstream movies I did like. Don't get me wrong. Those, there's a few. Again, there's a few. Just, uh, just a few. But I tend to watch stuff that's like way back in the past, way old. So, I don't know. Maybe I became too jaded over the years, I guess. Just come off like people nowadays have a different uh, view on movies or whatever. So, I don't know. Maybe I, be maybe I became too jaded. Maybe that's what it is. I don't fucking know. But, I know some people might be thinking, maybe I'm just living too, too much in the past and I'm, I'm not letting it go. Whatever the case may be. I like this one, folks. I quite did enjoy this one. And yes... Like I got up saying, uh, it's not most, it's not the most fast-paced film ever. I know that, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be super fast-paced or anything. So I guess what matters is the story. I guess what really matters is the plot. I guess the the characters, are the characters likable in some ways, are the characters uh, at least understandable in, in one way or another. So. I guess that's, when you get down to it, I think that's what really matters, regardless of genre. The characters have to be good, and the plot itself has to be pretty good as well. And, yeah, the pacing for this film is pretty solid, I suppose. The pacing wasn't too bad, I guess. So, I was, I was not bored. No, not, not at all. I was not bored at all. The acting, for the most part, was pretty solid, I suppose, because... The leading actor, he does a pretty good job. As for the supporting actors, they, they did an alright support. I uh, did an alright uh, job here, and the supporting actresses, they did pretty well too. Also, I can say that I would say I, I like the editing. The editing wasn't too bad, even though, of course, this is another cheaply made film. I'm talking about. Yeah, the production value, just like the, all the other. Films I'll be reviewing, the production value isn't extremely high at all, really. But, and whatever, I guess. I intend to watch these kinds of movies anyway to begin with, so I'm used to it, I suppose. Yeah, there's no flashy special effects on the screen or anything. But, hey, this was made, this was made during the 50s, so what the, hell do, what the hell do you expect exactly? So, yeah, that was that. So, I can say that this one is definitely worth watching, folks. Yes, sir. Anyway, this film, The Second Woman, gets an overall rating of a 7.8 out of 10. It gets a 7.8 out of 10 for me. And, of course, as always, thank you for watching and take care. Until next time, oh yeah.